And then you couldn't do the two. Hey guys, it's Bass Hunter TV here. We're gonna be talking about uh, tips and tricks on lures that you can do. So we'll be talking about rigging like soft plastics a certain way to catch more fish. So we can start off with these Berkeley Power Bait minnows. They're smelt flavored or smelt scent. There's three different types of ways you can rig these. Or four types actually. Let's lay all these things out. So take and gulp a live minnow. Take a swim bait hook. That's what they look like. You go through the nose of the bait and make sure it's in the center. Just, just go through the nose like that. And then you want to pull out the top. Get it down the shaft of the hook. Put it up into the swim bait head holder. I hooked it wrong. And like you want to hook them right. Like I didn't hook it right here. here I'm just restart this. So you're gonna go through the like bottom of the thing, and you just go like this, and then you spin this, or you put it up on here, put it up on there, and then you take your bottom of the hook, and you insert here. And you just pull that down. And then make sure you're wait a minute, get this wrong again. Hey guys, kill the boss here. And then you hook it up like that. So when a bass or a pike comes and grabs it, that hook will pen it like you want it just like this, you just want it under a bit. Just like that. And then a bass will come up and then just get pinned with that hook. That hook will come down like that. And then this will come up, down like this. And then you'll be hooked up to a bass. Or a northern pike, because you never know what you can catch with these. And then another way you can rig these is by jig head. So you go through this, like this, spin this, and then poke it through. And then on the jig head, this isn't fancy, but just like that, plus it's a bit big for this jig head. And then you can also drop shot these. You just go through the nose, like that. So well, these are spin shots. You can spin shot these. Or you can even Texas rig these. Just like this. And it's on a small swim bait hook. You can also Texas rig. Like that. So that's the four ways you can rig those. And then we'll do these on a spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. So you're like, take, like, that's one rigged up on it right now. So you just put it on, on, and then you make sure it is in the middle, in the middle of the hook, as you guys can see. And then you just let the skirt dangle down like that. That's a good trailer for spinnerbait. Or like, or 
I have this spinner bait hooked up with a swim bait. Oh, this smells like licorice again. That. And then my orange spinner bait hooked up with a orange curly tail. It's one of the river to see spinner baits. I'm just gonna. So that's that for those. So these are done. Those are done. These are just smaller version of the gulp minnows. That's done. Now cross havoc uh change ups designed by Scott Suggs. Jigs. I use micro finesse jigs or jungle jigs. These are my that's what they have it change up on them. That's a black and blue jig. It's got a nice rattle. And my other one. Like that color I always use on black and blue jigs. That's my micro jig. They're all black and blue. And then I don't have anything on this jig. I just bought this jig. My black and white one. It's like a football jig, but it's football? Yeah, it's like a football jig. Yeah, yeah. And then like all the curly tails I have on here. I all I always put these on Jake heads. So get rid of a bunch of them. Uh, so you know, I'll show you those Jake heads. I have ones just like these, but they're like big minnows. Got yeah, those. Yeah, Dakota. Those. I have one just like this, but it's a big that. one. And it's like the shape of a minnow. That. That's the black and chartreuse. And that. And that. I'm just going to show you this before I get rid of it. They're good for bass, walleye, trout, crappie, and saltwater. So what Caleb uh, was holding up is these Lunker Hunt Bonito. They're really good for uh, especially bass. Gentil baits. It's these little, they're, I use these for drop shot. I have one just like that, but in a way bigger form. And it's like this, but thicker and about the same length. You'll get my spin shot hooks. And then pretty much you just grab it by the nose. Basically pretty simple. Just stick it through the nose. And then pull the hook out like that. And like the small mouth around here. This is Kingston, Ontario. They'll love these. They just destroy are these mm -hmm. just get rid of these but once again that's the lunker hunt bonito baits them on the ground and getting into the jigs so we got that change up again on a bottom mountain jig this is the full size, not the full size one, it's a quarter. And then my, this is my uh, Angler's Choice Craw. I put those on my jigs too, that's one there. 
And on my micro jigs, I'll always carry for the like finesse jigs. I always carry a big one of the same color and a small one of the same color. There's that one. And for like panfish or like well any panfish, I'll fish for them with these. They're little panfish like grubs. That's those. I I always carry tons of them. So every once in a while a big bass will come and I use four pound test on my panfish rod. I don't have it set up with four pound Every test. Every fisherman knows that for certain lures you name. have to bring more than one thing because a bass or a pike will just come up and either That's my eat your rod. line or take it. And I got my big freaking, my uh, big downrigger jig. It's a good four inch, uh, this might be a six inch. It's a six inch curly tail on yep, the darter jig inch. head. So that's just under a foot, about six inches. That's my uh, flipping and pitching rig. I have it connected to a piece of line to keep the hook there. Um, we got another crappy jig. One of the double tail Berkeley power baits on a jig head. Um, got a tube, tube jig. I have pretty much all same color tube jigs. And they're different sizes too. I don't really fish tube jigs that often. Only like when I'm going for like smallmouth bass or some other fish. And if you guys don't know these, I got this at Canadian Tire. It's like a little crayfish. With like googly um, eyes, and I always lose the eyes because they just pop out. And which Canadian tire on the one on Princess? Yeah, doesn't really matter, but and they got a Berkeley power bait, uh, green pumpkin worm that's like torn apart from fishing for pike. Got the mighty white sun sticks. That's my micro trocar hook for crappie. That's my big micro trocar hook for swim baits. Here's my crappie jig. And I don't know if you guys, any of you guys, fish the. I have two types of Sankos. I have. Gary Yamamoto, custom bait Sankos, and I use these ones for smallmouth. They're the Lunker Hunt Sankos, and I have them rigged up here. I got that, that one, that's a Gary Yamamoto, see the difference? Yeah. Oh wait, these are both Gary Allen motos. Sorry about that. But they're just really good. This is another flipping and punching bait for Texas bass. Which I don't know when I'm ever gonna go for Texas bass, but yeah. That's that. And I use bucktail jigs for salmon or like spinning glows. For salmon, but those are my bucktails. And I have some crappy jigs that I'll use for crappy. 
That's those guys right there. So that's the jigs, and I have to do, I have to, like, on the channel, I'll get people to tell me to do challenges, and they, they kind of force me to. So I have to do the all pink challenge. I I know who made the challenge. It's uh, Leo Shang from Extreme Philly Fishing. He made the all pink challenge. So I got... This thing on a pink. Why is it a challenge? It's a pink. I don't know if it comes up pink on your guys' screen, but it's a pink worm on a pink jig head. Why is it a pink challenge? It is. And you only fish jigs when they're not biting on top or they're suspended. When they're feeding on the bottom, you'll throw a jig. And then, say it's really hot summertime bite, they'll usually fish on top. So there's my uh, live target copper frog. I have a... Uh, frog that I got from Brown Bear Tackle. Lucky strike frog. Oh yeah, and um, if your rod ever breaks or even the tip, brown bear tackle is the best place to go in Kingston that I know of. And I got this mini frog. Actually, you could show them your rod that just got fixed. That's my frog. It's got one leg. It's a big, like 14 pound largemouth came up and ate it. And I didn't hook it, which I'm really sad about. That's my, like, we'll use, like, trailers for buzz baits, like that. I got that swim shot on. That's a booyah swim bait, or a buzz booyah. bait. booyah. You'll want the more, most noise you can get. I got this buzz bait. Skirt's too long for it, because it's a spinner bait skirt. And Booyah puts like, <laughs> like choke our hooks on them. That's a popper. Ooh. Nice popper. It's a hula popper. And then I have a homemade spook. I fish this thing a lot. Haven't caught anything on it yet. I've had fish blow up on it though. Spray the fish smelling salt. It attracts the fish. And you know, at Brown or at uh, this place called Bronson and Bronson, you can get these magic lures, baby shad. Here was my baseball coach. And these things smell absolutely horrible. I have the salted version. But the fish love them. It's almost like you having like a... Um, it honestly uh, smells like baby shad. Well, whatever your favorite food is. So those look like... It smells gross to absolutely humans. Absolutely nasty. But for fish, it smells like a delicacy. So like, say you like spaghetti tacos like I do. Um, the fish, it might smell gross, but to me, it tastes good. And then you got your same colors that I already talked about. So fuck them. Get more. I got a pink Lunker Hunt Senko. Fuck them. And then from my panfish. From my panfish box. I. I'm not like Leo Shang. I don't go micro fishing every single day, but I wish I was like him because he actually gets out and fishes different places around his neighborhood. And like uh, Mike uh, from uh, One Rod, One Reel. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, go subscribe to him now. 
They post really good, like, funny content. And, like, John B, AP Bassing, Lunkish TV. That's a panfish curly tail. I got orange and yellow and white. And then I got, like, purple crayfish, panfish. And then I got two different colors of hair jigs. I got lime green and pink. I'll be using this for the Go Pink Challenge. Go pink or go home. Oh. That's the panfish box. Um, wait. For salmon, I'll fish in the fall and the spring. So I'll use like spoons. Like my favorite type of spoon is a little Cleo, the orange little Cleo, like that. I don't know if you guys can see the orange. Um, it kind of looks silver from my view, but maybe when they're watching it. Turn the light off. Turn it off. So we're just going to turn the light off. Can you see it more? And there you go. That's the orange little Cleo. And then this is the pink little Cleo. Chrome pink. You turn it back on. Lights back on. And then I got gold, a gold spoon. It looks chrome to you guys, but it's gold. Not just use like spinner baits or like the spoons. You should do a giveaway to your followers one day. And like every time I fish in Napanee River, I'll always find a spoon. That's a Williams spoon. I found a bunch of spoons. You actually found them with me, didn't you? And it was brand new still in the box. That's funny. So that's that box. I got the jerk bait box and crank baits, and I have a chatter bait in here. Didn't know where to put it's it. It's a chatter box. So that's my Z-Man chatter bait. Hmm. And I got this jerk bait. It's like the it's like a fluke. That's it. Wow. Got the live target crawfish deep diver. Use it for smallmouth. Be careful, or you're gonna cut yourself. Again oh, for the go did. pink challenge. Got my pink crankbait. When I was fishing at Collins Bay in Kingston, I found this. Me and him went a few times in the summer together. That, I think it's chartreuse and orange. There's uh, another, just like a scatter wrap. Uh, talking about scatter wraps, I just I'm went out and bought one. Grabbing. There's, I just went out and bought one in Golden Shiner. And I got a husky jerk and fire tiger. And if you guys don't know, I love fire tigers, so I got a jointed one and a solid one. These are good for like. For trolling. Yeah. And like the jointed baits, like that, you'd put on a downrigger. I love tigers. And then I have oh, these. Let's check these uh, crankbaits. I have. Shake that tail. I've, Shake that tail. I have one in bluegill color. And I got nice rattle. Nice loud rattle. I won't slap you with my tail. Stop. <laughs> I got one in sexy shad. 
Again, nice loud rattles. Got one in pink sexy shad. If you guys can see the pink line. Pink sexy shad. And for my lipless crankbait, we got that guy. Lipless crankbait. For my micro jerk baits and divers. Oh wait, I have some deep divers. I want to show you guys if I can get them all out. Cause like you know they 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 ball up like that. We got the storm shad deep diver. That is smashing shadow seven. I got the storm MSS or MSM or MSS. It's the SMS in clown color. I got the Storm Rattle Toe. The Storm Rattle Toe. And Blue Back Sexy Shad. And I got a Mizuma or Mizua Diver. It's got the nice red treble hooks. I'm just trying to blaze through this stream. Just don't want it to be long. And I got the Rapala Ultra Shad in perch color. I got the Dollar Store Lures. I got I got two Dollar Store Jerk Baits. I always switch the hooks out on these Dollar Store Jerk Baits. As you never know how bad they are. That's a pointer minnow, is what they called it. it says a bigger pointer minnow. And then this is a Mazua Smash Shad or Darters. For my big jerk baits. That's like the Rapala Extra or the Rapala Husky Jerk. That's a dollar store version. Got my big musky jerk bait. Got a big nice loud rattle. I got another one. This is my pike jerk bait. Nice rattle. And I have a jerk bait on my bait cast rod. If you guys don't know, I have two bait casters now. The only reason why I got bait casters is because of Mike from One Rod, One Reel. And he always uses them. So I just love them now. I used to be like a spinner bait or a spinner reel guy. So I have my spinners, spinning reel. I got my Rapala X Rap one. Got for my birthday in 09, I believe. So let me try. There we go.
I'm just gonna set it up here and then I'll be just showing you guys. It's the ugly stick elite, I believe it is. I believe it's the ugly stick elite. Not too sure though. Not too sure, not too shabby. Sorry. There it is there. It's the ugly stick elite. Can't really show you the elite, but it's probably upside down. Shakespeare makes ugly stick. Just gotta get my jerk bait back. There we go. Now I got that jerk dollar store jerk bait. Change the back treble hook to make it look like a husky jerk. That's yeah, Shakespeare Elite bait cast. Six foot six. I believe it's six six. Yeah, six six. My Rapala X Raps six seven. Which is over here. I'm not going to show anybody it because it's broken again. So. Yeah, that's weird. Nobody's been joining the stream. Uh, now it is the ice fishing season. So I'll be posting a lot more ice fishing videos up. There'll be one going up tonight from yesterday. It was filmed on my phone. And I'll show you my ice auger. Auger. That's my auger. There's a blade. Blades. I've got to have to get them sharpened. These are kind of dull, I think. Yeah, just a tad bit dull. I love this auger. It's only a manual auger. It's the only thing that sucks because I can't afford a gas auger. I have one at my dad's, but it's only for me. One tip, kids, be very, very careful. That's the manual logger. But the thing Well, that's small. That. Yeah. Plus that. Okay. 
Just went and put the auger down. Almost died. Almost got my leg chopped off. Yeah, it's fine. Just checking my leg. Is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. Chopped off? Eh, might be. No, I'm just okay. No, I didn't. Like, we got Tux listed in there. And, yeah. Karen, that, that she chopped it off the foot, and then she's like, good, because it's his. <laughs> and, like, will there be... She was just kidding. Uh, I'll go. I'll put up a fishing video for you guys tonight, plus this live stream. And I guess I have a live stream coming up, but that probably won't be going up. I'll probably just tape it and then delete it because I had to tape this live stream twice. So I'll see you guys later. Tight lines and have a good night.